Hey guys, Richard here, Down Grid Survival. So, I wanted to share a thought with you that I was having. Um, you know, recently we we talk a lot about, you know, the doom and the gloom, and uh, on other channels they just mostly talk about doom and gloom, and, and it can really weigh heavily on those who are unprepared, those who are just easily, you know, scared, I suppose. Um, and, and, you know, it can be all-consuming. And, and I've talked about this numerous times on this channel. And, you know, first of all, I just want to say you got to let things go a little bit. you got to just... you got to let some things go. There's just... you got to. You can't just sit around all day thinking about how horrible life is and how horrible life is going to get. The point of this video is that... You know, in, in a video I released about a month or so ago, you know, I kind of gave my overall prediction thoughts about, you know, what the future held. But here's the deal. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how quickly or how fast or when the demise of our country, if, you know, when things are going to really fall apart. No, no one knows. All we know is that over the last few years things have taken a huge downturn and just continue to steamroll and what we do know is things that are being talked about in our government and in governments around the world about you know the great um you got to be careful with my words these days you know about the the great change that they want to take place in 2030 but we don't know we don't know what's going to happen between now and then so here's my best suggestion for, for all of you, and this is how I'm trying to live my life and how I'm trying to encourage my family to live their life. Keep living, not with the idea that everything's gonna fall apart in the next year or two. Keep living, make uh, your important life decisions, keep moving forward. At the same time, keep preparing. Prepare as if life could dramatically change for you and your family over the course of the next year or two and certainly by 2030 but if for some reason you know for some reason it doesn't and you know there's enough pushback and, and things kind of settle down a little bit it may not happen right away you know we we might see a a, a positive change where things settle down I'm not really seeing it, but I'm hopeful. You know, I am hopeful that something like that is possible. And with that in mind, then you've got a bright future. Yeah, it's rough right now, but there's a bright future out there, so don't do anything drastic. Don't make any drastic, hasty decisions based on what you think is going to happen in the next 12 months or 24 months. Keep living life. Keep enjoying life. Get out there and do all the things you like to do. But in a parallel state, keep prepping, keep prepping, and keep prepping. A lot of folks think they just don't have enough time to prep. And, you know, that money is tight, and and it's going to take a long time to acquire all the things they need to acquire, and they just toss their hands up saying there's just no hope because there's just not enough time, and I don't have enough money and resources to do all that I need to do. Well, that's wrong. So keep working towards it. Keep putting away a little bit every week, every month. And if nothing happens over the course of the next 12, 24 months, two, three years from now, you're going to be sitting on a nice pile of preps. And you're going to be thankful that you have those. Your family's going to be thankful that you have all that. And then, then if nothing happens until, you know, roughly seven years from now, well, guess what? we got seven years to really prepare for it. I think things are going to continue to degrade. I think things are going to continue to get worse. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that we don't have a, a leveling off of what's going on around us and things kind of, you know, start to moderate a little bit and maybe even improve a little bit. Um, but I also believe in biblical prophecy and so I, I kind of know what's happening and, and what's going to happen. But keep living life because we don't know the timeline. No one knows the timeline. So, that's it. You know, 
what else can I say about that? Um, don't live in fear. Just prepare. That's all I got to say. See you in the next video.